Hey guys, today I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my Barrack build. Barrack's one of my favorite champions in the game right now. He's fun to play, his playstyle is crazy. He is a frontline, but I play him more as a damage. I usually do over 100k damage a game, so I feel that my build is decent enough to share with you guys. So, here we go. <laughs> Straight into the loadout, I have Field Deploy as my first card with three points in there, Bowling Ball with one point. You can play around with these two. Sometimes I like having two points in my Bowling Ball and two points in my Field Deploy just to switch it up depending on who I'm playing against. One Man Scrap, I have one point. One Man's Treasure, I have to have four. The elimination cooldown is insane, 28%. With his turrets gaining you eliminations, you pretty much have crazy cooldowns all throughout the match. And his force alloy must have three in there. I like to have the thick turret health. It makes it harder for the team to take away my damage. That way my damage is present throughout the whole game. Okay guys, right off the bat, I like to take Architect Tonics because it makes your turrets so they can't miss so why wouldn't you take that and it does 20% more damage I love this for Barrack most people would probably take fortify because they want the more tankier look I don't care that's what I'm taking and then right I love to take kill to heal even though life rip is usually I mean rejuvenate is usually what people would take because they want the heals from the healer but with my eliminations consistently happening with my turrets I don't even bother it's easier this way you should really use your shield to defend your team right here this is a poor example of how to use it and right off the bat there's my elimination and my heals and this is so important I'm taking way too much damage oh and there I go so as I said I take kill to heal with him and for the bottom parts, I usually take Cauterize or Wrecker depending on who I'm versing. We're versing Fernando with two healers. So in this situation, generally speaking, depending on what my team takes, I will take Wrecker just to take out his shield faster. But if not, I'll take Cauterize if they take Wrecker. The thing about using his dash is that you should use it for both attacking and escaping. I find that people use dashes just for escaping. And we're winning this like easily. I'm not even trying. <laughs> and I can't miss with my turret so there's an elimination. And this is why I don't take... Ooh, get de-alted girl. Ooh, I cannot hit with, but my turrets can. And she's been taken care of. Like this. Bang, bang. Done. Easy. Cassie's about to die. Ooh, she got full health. Sears healed her up real nice. And this is where you guys have to remember. Oh, I'm just about to put my shield. Would have saved our team a lot of damage. Usually you don't put your uh, turrets right in the middle. That's very poor placement. But I think it's funny because they still haven't taken them out. Like they're not taking them out consistently and that keeps them in range consistently throughout the game. So I'm just com completely dishing damage and you'll see I'm constantly relocating my turrets. Now a trick with him is to not always replace your turrets. Let them destroy the turret and replace it soon as it's been destroyed because that will give you HP if it's been destroyed and it's nice to have your turrets on high levels and low levels it just makes it less likely for them to destroy them right off the bat and right here looks like she's taking out that turret and you should be hearing Ching like sounds like money consistently if you're not hearing that you have poor turret placement or you have no turrets on the ground Yeah, there's that sound I'm looking for and it's always nice to have it um, close if you're pushing for the other side It's always nice to have it close 
because it knocks them off their horse automatically because it can't miss. I'm gonna take kill to heal again. Let's see what my team took. They took cauterize, so I will take wrecker as my bottom pick. Um, I usually don't take illuminate or crowd control or blast shields. I usually end up taking haven, but that's all based off of who you're playing against. Haven's last thing I take. If we were playing against the sky and another invisible person, I'd definitely be taking illuminate. I just hate her so much. Um. But let's take a look at his abilities. His RT deals 500 damage shooting 13 pe pellets that make a total of 500 damage together. So that means your bullets do spread. Um, so the closer you are to the opponent, the more likely you'll do more damage per shot. So keep that in mind um, with location, especially when you're taking out shields and stuff like that. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. And there's a kill, so got that HP back. And she's her dash. Anyways, yeah, so keep that in mind with positioning when you are take, attacking them with your basic. That the closer you are to a certain range, because you do have spread, the better percentage of damage you will do. His barricade lasts for what? Four seconds and can be destroyed and has 4,000 health, which is a ridiculous amount of health. Oh, okay, let's uh, deal with these guys. Easy, easy kills, easy kills. Um, so which is a considerable amount of health? Uh, he's really hurting me. I'm not feeling that. There's another elimination. And I'm gonna take out his shield. The quicker we do that, the better. I have heals. There's my heals I was looking for. It's nice. Oh, okay, and now we're going to take this objective easily. We have control over it now. There's no way. That healer is doing a crazy job of keeping me alive, which is nice. And you see I replaced it a little bit too early. I should have waited. But that's fine. Alright, now his RT is Rocket Boots, which is essentially just a dash that you can control mid-dash, like what direction you go, which is nice for dodging bullets. I'm going to flank. People get mad when you flank. <laughs> Now, now that we have the payload, I'm going to go up ahead. And this is a tip for any player, is just to go up ahead and go on a site that lines a site that they can't dodge. Oh, I missed that shot. And that distracts the damage. Now the damage is distracted and our payload can easily be pushed for another couple seconds without having to worry. And that's kind of nice, really. Um... Let's see. We have Cassie top left here. Ooh. And it's always smart to put your turret behind your shield, not in front. Always put it behind if you can. I'm not going to worry about the Fernando. He's not present, so we're going to push this. He altered. And I got wiped. Anyways, I got killed to heal max out now. I am going to take Wrecker. And generally speaking, I will take Kronos on Barrack just because it's nice to get my abilities up more often, including my dash, my turret, my shield. It just let, makes me more effective in the game. Some people may even take Nimble, but for me, I really, really recommend taking Kronos, especially for this build setup I have. I feel like Grover, yeah, Grover is to the right over here. I'm waiting for them heals. There we go. I got you, girl. Don't worry.
Yeah, sorry. I'm gonna have a little bit of silence here. This kind of matters to me. I want him dead. Wow. He was not dying. Looks like we lost this one. We might have a second chance at it, depending on what my team decides to do. Um. Yeah, Rocket Boots lasts one second, which is nice. Cooldown on that's only 14 seconds, but with Chronos and depending on what you build, it can be less because of your eliminations and your 28% cooldown, which is extremely insane. Insane. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna get this one. That was good shield timing. I will still try to. And you don't want to. You focus the squishier one so you can get that HP. And I wouldn't have survived. Oh, I did die. Anyways, yeah, make sure you take um, Chronos, kill the heal, and then Wrecker or Cauterize, depending on who you're playing. And if they don't have any heals or shields, feel free to pick up Deft Hands. I very rarely ever take Bulldozer because there's very few people that actually put up a deployable. Ying, maybe, but I'm not focusing her, generally speaking. Anyways, I really find uh, Barrack to be a great counter to like people like Sky and Maeve, especially Maeve, the ones that are hard to hit because your turrets will not miss. And that's why I take this card because it really messes up characters like Maeve. We're not really playing against anyone like that other than Cassie, but still. Oh man, that was weak. Looks like my team could use some shielding. And she's been taken care of. And the shield that lasts on it is just awesome. I'm gonna shoot him from behind. There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go, and this is gonna be. Oh, there he is. I don't know where he was. <sighs> lady, lady, lady. She did a lot of damage there. Um, where are we? Yes. And then we have his ultimate. Let's not forget how overpowered his ultimate actually is. People underestimate his ultimate because they do not understand it. They feel like it's just a bubble. His ultimate which I don't really think I popped often um, is a 20,000 health shield and it lasts 6 seconds but the turret inside deals 400 damage per second that means in 4 seconds he can kill someone like easily that's not including his other 2 turrets that deal 150 damage per second so you're looking at what if you have all 3 turrets down and in the same position 700 damage per second that is insane not including your basic attack so his ult is actually quite overpowered plus the shielding keeping him alive while he's in there that's it's ridiculous really so yeah that pretty much concludes my barrack build it's pretty basic pretty simple and as you can see I'm gonna assume it was a shorter game I did 88 damage second best damage in the game just a bit under drogos if it was a longer game i usually end up top two damages maybe top three and i get crazy amounts of assists obviously because of my turrets and it's not like my shielding is lacking i'm right on par actually above ash so my job still gets done i still do a ton of damage this barrack damage build is probably the best build I've come up with so far. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.